Are you sick of governments not keeping their promises? Uh, well, I guess it depends on the global and economic circumstances. Then you'll love Labor Promises. Here at Labor Promises, we're keeping our Stage 3 tax cut election promise, no matter what the circumstances. Rising inflation? Not a problem. Trillion dollar government debt? Relax. Global instability? Give it a rest, will you? We've got to keep this promise. Do we believe in this promise? Not on your life. In fact, we're ideologically opposed to it. Are we going to go through with it, though? You betcha. We live in uncertain times. Storm clouds are gathering in the global economy. The IMF is sounding the alarm. Carrie Bickmore is leaving the project. But one thing you can rely on is we're keeping our very, 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 really very expensive promise. We're not in the business of scrapping promises. The only thing we'll scrap is all the other initiatives we could have paid for if we did scrap this promise. We couldn't even break this promise if we wanted to. During the election campaign, wealthy people made us take a blood oath. <laughs> Nevertheless, the opposition wants you to think we won't keep this promise. All they've heard over the last week is the government trying to crab walk away from its stage three tax cuts. So let me make another promise. Here at Labor Promises, there'll be no crab walking, no moonwalking, hell, no walking at all. We're standing still on this stage three hill that we plan to die on, thank you very much. Sure, it'll cost the country $243 billion to keep this promise, but have you considered the political cost of the Labor Party of breaking it? Of course not, why would you? But the political cost is real. Remember when John Howard said this? No way that uh, GST will ever be part of our policy. Never, ever. Never, ever. It's dead. That's right. He broke that promise, taking a GST to the 1998 election. And the electorate never forgave him for that, only making him Australia's second longest serving Prime Minister. A lot of people mistakenly think this tax cut issue is about tax cuts. But as the opposition leader rightly pointed out, this tax cut issue is not about tax cuts. But this is not an issue now about tax cuts, it's about whether you can trust Anthony Albanese. Voters want someone they can trust, not someone who might pragmatically adjust policies according to changing economic circumstances. Labor promises. They can't be broken. Promise could be broken in 2023.